and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out this Koki Skin Perfect HD foundation in the shade NW. I think this is the lightest shade. This is the lightest shade at the store. I don't know how well it's going to match me in the bottle. It looks... I mean, it doesn't look like that much darker, but it does look a tiny bit darker. But if you pump it out, it looks a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and read some claims on this foundation. Okay, this retails for $12.98. It is the new Walmart brand. A mid-coverage natural finish foundation offers flawless, high-def perfection on every light buildable coverage. That's really all it says about that foundation. It comes in 15 shades, which isn't too bad, but on the website... Sorry, you can see my ring light, but it looks super confusing because it doesn't um, start with the lightest shade. It kind of jumbles them all up. It's hard as hell, which one you're actually trying to buy if you're trying to buy it online for a foundation. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to try this out. Um, I'm going to prime my face. I haven't done that yet. I'm going to use the next Angel Oil Primer and then on like my T-zone, like right through here and right here, I'm going to use this there goes, Ulta Mattifying Balm. Um, it, this really does help with the oils. Let's just go ahead and get on to testing this foundation. See how it works for my skin. Okay, so I'm not going to use a half face with a sponge, half face with a brush. Because I really don't like brushes anyways. So I'm just going to use the sponge. Let me know if you guys like this new background. It's just a tapestry. It's an elephant, but you can't tell. I finally got my ring light so I can finally use this as a background because this is nowhere near a window where I'm at right now. So I could never use this as a background for before. But since now I have a ring light, I actually can. So and I am going to mix this foundation with my NYX Pro foundation mixer just because I did swatch it a little bit. It was just so yellow and so much darker and then I did put a little bit on my skin. It didn't look too bad but it was a very really sheer la layer we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and start applying the foundation i'm just gonna start off with two pumps and then just a little bit of the white to kind of make it a little lighter it is kind of thick not thick but um not that runny like my revlon color stays more runny and i'm just gonna start with Applying this on my face and that next foundation mixer really doesn't um affect the like way the app the how the foundation like sits on my skin i've never noticed anything at least So that's one layer. It actually covered up really good. I was kind of scared because it said it was more like a natural finish. So I didn't think the coverage was going to be that good, but I like it. And my face is doing really good right now. Like, you know, these are all just marks. There's no active breakouts whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, it didn't cover up my dark circles, but I put more concealer on under my circles just because I don't want to put too much foundation on there. I, I'm kind of loving how this turned out. I mean, it doesn't look too cakey. And you can see all the redness it covered compared to my, from my eyelids to my skin. This actually has really, really good coverage. I'm kind of shocked. I did not spot conceal on anything either. All I had on was primer. I'm gonna put some concealer on real quick. Um, I don't think I'm gonna actually highlight my whole face. I might just do it on my 
under eyes and that's it just to see how this foundation looks throughout the day i'm gonna bake my smile lines a little bit because it feels like it could feels like it easily bunch up in places so all right so this is after concealer too i look crazy with no concealer in my eyelids but this is how the foundations look i'll zoom in just a little bit it looks really really good Let me turn this down a little nope too so this is how the foundation is looking with the dim with the ring light turned down it looks really good so far i might haven't done a wear test whatsoever so we'll see how it lasts my skin kind of reminds me of the revlon color stay in a way almost so i am going to bake and then i'm going to do my eyebrows and the rest of my makeup and i'll be back to let you guys know how it everything else applied on top the concealer applied amazingly on top of my foundation so i'll be back in two seconds youtube time but probably like 50 minutes in real time so i'll be back to update you on this foundation when i get all right guys i am back um i have all of my other makeup applied everything applied nicely on top my highlight's like beaming right now but um the only problem i had with it, my eyebrows look terrible today but now you can kind of see how it got kind of patchy right there from blending concealer on top but besides that besides that uh everything whoa i don't know what's going on with this lighting besides that everything blended out really really nicely on top um contour highlight blush everything um i did use you saw me using my tart shape tape and the shade fair of course i always use this i only use it on my under eyes though do not use it on my chin nose forehead nothing just that i uh set well baked my under eyes and my smile line just because i get super oily there with my laura mercier powder and the sherry translucent this is almost out and it's so expensive and i'm so sad i used my fawn shade of course this is what i use every day to contour and then i use my butter bronzer in the shade I think this is a lighter bronzer i don't remember a blush mellow mauve and elf and then i use i first used the essence pure nude highlight by itself then i wanted something a little more so i went in with my casey holmes highlighting palette in the shade turn it on pearl and crank it up pearl i kind of always mix these two together and then sometimes i mix all three and then for my eyes i used i used my tartlet and bloom palette uh, mine looks really gross because my dog's broken <laughs> so i just used the heart shade rebel shade and then a little bit of smoke show along my lash line you really can't see now and then i did use funny girl on the lid kat von d liquid eyeliner and I think trooper right liquid liner ever and then i used uh this is only a sample but i love this i'm gonna buy more of these liquid lipsticks this is the kat von d everlasting lipstick in lolita 2 that's everything i'm wearing on my face right now oh and then i did use the Tarte Ready Set and Radiant Spray. I actually like this. I've used quite a bit in the past like two weeks. But um, I just used it because it was looking a little dry. It was just looking a little dry and it feels a little dry. Which kind of surprised me because this is like a natural finish. So I was thinking like dewy finish. And it dried down pretty well. So yeah, I'm going to try to do an update throughout the middle of the day. I'm going to be at work so it's going to be on my iPhone. Um, and then I'm just probably going to like take a picture see if it's oily or not and i'll update it if it does get oily so yeah i will see you guys all in a little bit with the update on the foundation all right i am back um i know this has been a couple hours it's been probably eight hours at least since probably more than eight hours since i've updated you 10 hours since i've been wearing this foundation um i can't tell how it looks because my ring light has a super bad glare this is what it's looking like Obviously, I have the marks for my glasses, but I also didn't bake my nose for glasses because I wasn't planning on it. My nose has been running today. But besides that, everything looks really, really good. There's hair all over my face too from work. So, I might have lightened it too much because it's really, really white. Or the girls at work said it was really, really white. So, um... The shade is still probably a little bit too dark for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make dinner real quick. Um, and 
eat and then do a couple other things and then I'll update you when I can when I'm about to take it off but as of right now it's 10 14 at night so yeah I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like after I eat dinner it's probably not gonna change much because it hasn't changed at all today it looks really freaking good I'm so impressed with this foundation honestly I was not expecting it to be this good so I'll see you guys in a few all right so i am back um i just got done doing my nails so they took forever watched like three episodes of gross anatomy so let's look at how this foundation is looking all right so it's almost two o'clock in the morning so it's been just about 14 hours and as you can see it is i mean it's breaking down but like my forehead still looks pretty decent my chin's okay i was kissing my cat um but yeah it has held up pretty good surprisingly the claims for this foundation i didn't think it was gonna hold up as good as it did I mean, it's pretty much come off on my nose but i've been wearing glasses for the past i don't know six hours now so that's gonna happen I actually really ended up loving this foundation i next time i'm not gonna mix as much white in it because did not need that obviously so if you liked my review on this kiko not kiko koki um foundation then just give this a thumbs up so i know that you guys want to see more foundation reviews in the future also leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next and don't forget to subscribe it would be awesome for you guys to see my contact in the future so yeah thank you for watching my video and i will see you guys all in my next video bye